Hey, my name is Martin Schoch. I'm a principal product manager at Quest, and I'm here together with Randy Rampel, also a principal product manager at Quest, and we both work on the on-demand migration platform. And we want to talk about Teams migration today. So Randy, looking at the growth of Microsoft Teams over the last years, not only from the number of active users, but also of the volume of chat messages, the volume of data that is stored there, it is really one of the most critical workloads, but also one of the more complex workloads to migrate. Um, I'm interested in what is your recommendation on planning for a successful Teams migration? Yeah, you know, Teams has really grown rapidly over the last two years. And so we always recommend that you want to scan your Teams environment, find out how many Teams you have, but also what kind of content makes up your Teams. Like look at the SharePoint content, you know, basically your, your, your channels, the, the number of messages that you have in there, and also your planner plans, um, and also like private chat messages too. Yeah, let's split this up. So let's talk about the chat migration first. Um, so obviously chat migration is something very critical because it impacts the user directly and the user just wants to have access to their chats. Um, I think the challenge for a lot of organization is the volume of chat messages is growing so quickly. And if you want to migrate everything, but you have a tight schedule, you might run into the situation that you can't migrate everything. And I think for this situation, you recently released two new features, which is archiving private chats, but also merging private chats. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, so it's really critical. Like when you're doing your private chat migration, you want to save it for like right near the end. And we recommend like migrating the last 30 days of messages that you have over to your target tenant uh, and, and migrate it with the merge messages settings because that'll run a lot faster. So it just takes your your messages, combines them together, and, and migrates it as a single message over to the target. Uh, but also, you want to archive all the remaining messages over. And so we have a solution that just uh, stores it into an HTML file and puts it over into your private chat also. So it runs very fast, very efficient, very good for planning purposes. OK. But as I said, I mean, the, the chat migration is one part. The other part, obviously, is the migration of um, Teams, of channel. And here we have to deal with data that is stored maybe in SharePoint, but also in OneDrive. We have other applications like Planner coming into the place. Um, so having a tool that supports all of these workloads um, seems to be necessary or makes this migration easier for customers. I mean, would you agree with that? Absolutely. Like you really need a product that, that covers everything. It has to be able to handle the SharePoint content, uh, the, the conversations that occur in the channels, the planner plans. You need something that handles everything. Uh, so one issue that we often face is like, what do we do with the, the Teams meetings that are, that are stored? And how do we handle the links that are in those meetings? Yeah, that's a very good point. And that is obviously something you have to consider in the post-migration period, right? So when you decide, okay, we move now to the target tenant, then it means that all the users have to recreate their Teams meeting links because they still point to the source, they're becoming invalid, and you have to recreate these Teams meeting links. Um, and a solution can definitely help here to automate the whole process because if you have a lot of users, it's really a fundamental amount of work. Thank you so much, Randy, for sharing your insights. And I think we still realize that Teams migration are complex, but there are solutions available that can help customers um, to be successful with their migration.